Welcome to Awning Composer version 5, Tips and Tricks. This video is a quick start guide to Awning Composer 5. This is part 2 of the quick start guide. We're going to begin with bringing an awning into our scene. In the ribbon, click on the Add Object button to show all the 3D models in Awning Composer. The first tab is the Stationary tab. To use any of these awning styles, simply double click on it to add it to your backdrop. You can then use the left mouse button to position the awning. Along the left side of the screen you will see the settings for dimensions. You can use the slider bars to adjust the dimensions or manually enter a number in the text box. When making any changes to an object, make sure that the object is selected as indicated by the three axes. We can then add a valance to the awning. In the ribbon, left click on the Apply Valance button. Select your valance of choice by double clicking on it. In version 5, valances are set in physical measurements. If I click directly on the valance, the valance parameters will appear along the left side. To adjust the height of the valance, just enter in the desired measurement. To apply a fabric to the awning, you can select the entire object in the object tree or left click on the main part of the awning. Go up to apply material in the ribbon to view fabric options. The first drop down contains fabric manufacturers and the second drop down contains fabric collections. Once you have selected a fabric collection, you can single click on each fabric to view it on the awning. If you know the style name or number, just enter that information in the text box and select Fine. Your search will be highlighted in blue and just double click to apply it to the awning and hide the other fabric options.